Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious Show, Sexplanation. I like to be educated. Today, I'm feeling horny. I have been masturbating, but externally. Clitoral stimulation is great, but I'm still missing that sense of fullness that relieves pressure in my vaginal walls and... Ah. So, I'm gonna try this bad boy. It's from a line called Creature Cox, and this one is the space cock, which is kind of cool because it's not looking like a human replacement, so I can just think about me and my rainbow phallus here. It has nothing to do with fantasizing about anybody. And it has a, this like foreskin kind of characteristic, which is totally my jam. It's glow in the dark, which means that when I'm done with it, I can just put it on my shelf and think that it's like this cool sculpture. I don't know, I'm pretty excited about it. Da -da 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 what? Reach her cock. Oh, it's got good weight, good pressure, great colors. I could stick it on something and sit on it. I'm gonna put a condom on it, see how it goes. I'm operating my phone with my clean hand so I can tell you my immediate thoughts. Um, whew. So because this is kind of clinical in nature, um, there wasn't like a lot of love making of, oh, let's get the vulva so turned on that it's open and the toy just slides in and we'll do a lot of teasing and all that. There's none of that. It was like, condom on, put an entrance, start external uh, stimulation, then push the toy in and, and then come because that's what I do. I'm gonna show you how smart it is. Let me unroll this condom off first. Boop, okay. So this is what it looks like. Some advantages are that the scrotum shape here is so bulbous that this was not going to go in, at least not today, which is a great thing because I could just hold it in place. Even just at one, for one orgasm, I did just the tip and then for another one, maybe like this much. It, it wasn't about the depth. It was about the fullness. And I haven't had any penetration for the last month. So this was plentiful, plentiful. It's not super hard. It's um, kind of gummy, so I don't know, it didn't hurt. Maybe I wanted a, a little bit harder, but it was great. It's not gonna damage anything. It's not gonna hit my cervix, pound anything. And this base here allowed me to push. I, because the length is not longer than my arm, I could reach down and I could use this base to push inside of me or like or pull or control the depth, which is really nice. And then I was thinking the whole time about these different cool things that you could do with it, even with a partner too. I don't know why that hole is there. Which is just, I have this sliding glass door and I was thinking that it would be so awesome to slam it against the sliding glass door. And then I was trying to think about how I would fuck myself with it. And I kept wanting to go head on like, you know, put my leg up or sit it, put it on a thing and like sit on it this way. And then I realized I could turn around. If this goes on the sliding glass door and then a spectator or someone is on one side of the sliding glass door and I'm on the inside bent over and then I can back up into this. So they're getting to see something pretty cool, I think. Especially if you did it in the dark and the glow in the dark component was really alive and well. I'm gonna see what this looks like tonight when the sun goes down. Oh wow, look at how pointy. Can you see how pointy? It's not painful pointy, it's just I'm here pointy. Yeah, so I had, I think I had three orgasms with it and then I was like, ah, I just want my clitoral orgasm, get this out of me. And I started to do that and then I picked the toy back up and then put it in again, but just the tip. keep you posted on how it looks at night. Here's a video I took of the toy at night, but it's very difficult to see the power of the glow. So I also wanted to share these photographs showing a little bit more of what it 
looks like and how cool you're in the dark and all you can see is this toy which by the way is harness compatible then somebody can fuck you with it or you can fuck yourself and you actually make the glow disappear you can see how far or how shallow it goes into the person's body mouth anus vagina armpit whatever I like to be educated. it's been a week since the first trial and i decided to do another round of testing so that i could have multiple data points i recorded my thoughts during masturbation round two so i don't want to forget anything and I'm gonna read those for you once I get up. My notes. So first of all, we have exophilia, which is the fetish or more, more appropriately called a paraphilia for attraction to aliens and extraterrestrial life. And then there's also teratophilia, which is attraction to monsters. And I looked up some famous examples. I mean, you have Star Trek, Shape of Water, Court of Thrones and Roses. And then there's this book that somebody actually gave me a long time ago called Supervert, Extraterrestrial Sex Fetish. Didn't read it, but now I'm curious. Okay, so I was squeezing the phallus between my thighs and that felt really nice because I didn't have to push, I didn't have to use my hands, I could just use a thigh clenching method of masturbation to orgasm. And then I also made a note about how the throbbing feedback from the toy once I had orgasmed, so I orgasmed and then I would have contractions, felt really nice. I liked how I could reach the balls and then I renamed the balls gonads and then I renamed them alien reproductive organs. But maybe aliens have different reproductive organs and they're not. They're just, it's just a bulbous protrusion on an elongated body part. It was interesting to be able to grab the scrotum and actually use it as a handle because with somebody who has a scrotum, it's more delicate. And so I wouldn't like actually pull it or use it to like hold myself up. At one point I was thinking that it would feel more alien-like if I had a glove on my hand, the one that I used to finger myself with. Comments from Toy Vagina's video about how <laughs> gloves are not always as accessible as we want them to be. I started wondering what my fantasy could be for this play. I came up with not having one except that I want to be lying on my back relaxing and not doing anything. Extraterrestrial sex fetish. Oh, I wanted to make a note that the base is really good for anal, that this toy does doesn't look gendered at all to me. And anyone rainbow appendage. And then I started wondering if a penis is an appendage and how enlarged a clit has to be to also be an appendage. By that time I had had four or five orgasms and I noted that I wasn't putting the toy in very deep. I liked having it the first third and kind of balancing the base and scrotum on top of my thighs and then that would push down which would then bounce off of my pelvic bone which would then bounce up into my g-spot so it worked out perfectly we're now on minute five and there were two full minutes of silence i started to have a curiosity about whether or not a sperm can see the curve of an egg if the sperm had eyes Ugh. as it approaches with its non-existent eyes could it see that there is a curve or is it so big that it looks flat then i started doing therapy with myself at minute 7:30. I got pretty emotional and was free associating. I think I was forgetting that I was making a video and probably forgetting that I was masturbating, but I still was. I did this short diatribe about how this video that I'm making might be read as pornographic, but my intention is clinical. It's scientific and so there's this moment of feeling like, huh, I'm gonna be misunderstood. And that doesn't feel great. Anyway, after 12 minutes and 10 orgasms, I was able to make many more notes on my feelings about this product. I think that it was a fun curiosity to dabble in and I hope that you enjoyed it and stay curious. If you wanna get yourself one of these, you can go to adamandeve.com and when you check out, you can put the code DOE, D-O-E, my last name as the promo code to get a 50% off an eligible item plus Free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. I don't know what the alien fantasy is. I think whatever it is, I just want to be relaxed, lying on my back. I'm not doing any work.